Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see the solution to the code forces problem rotation matching. So this is the problem C of code forces round 648 division 2. So in this problem it's given that uh, we have two arrays, we have uh, array A and array B and both arrays are permutation of numbers from 1 to n. Now uh, what we want to do is we want to, uh, we want to make the maximum possible numbers match. Meaning that suppose we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So if they both of them have the same value at the same index, then they are matching. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the maximum number from those arrays are matching each other. And we can do some operations to uh, match the elements. And the operations we can do is we can either uh, choose a number k and cyclically shift one of the permutations to the left or right k times. So meaning that uh, we have two permutations, uh, a permutation a from 1 to n, permutation b from 1 to n. We want to maximize the number of matching elements in both of the permutations. And again, matching means the same element is present in both the array at one index. And we can either do left shift or right shift. So we want to find the maximum number of pairs of elements that we can match after performing the operations any time. So we don't have any uh, boundation of uh, how many times we should shift. So we can do the operation of shifting any time. It doesn't matter. So let's just look at one example. So suppose this is the first permutation and this is the second permutation. Now you can see that right now no numbers are matching. But uh, if I uh, right shift it towards the one, if I, if I right shift everything towards the right one time then it will become something like this one will come to the front and now you can see that within one operation all the elements are matching meaning that uh, at every index both the elements are same in both of the array and so the maximum matching elements we can get is 5 which is our output now one thing I would like you to note is that so this was our problem now one thing I would like you to note is that we can either do uh, right shift one times, two times. So if one is here, we can either shift it to uh, the right one times, two times, three times or four times. After that and five times in which it will come back at its place again. Now any shifting after five will be the same as shifting before because it is cyclical. So if I shift one to the right one time and two times, three times, four times, five times. But if I shift it to the right as six times, it will be the same as shifting it uh, to the right as one time. Because after every n rotation, so I'll just write it down. After every n rotation, either to the right or the left, the array becomes the same, right? So after every n rotation, the array becomes the same. So to get different result, so to get different results, we need to shift only 1 to n minus 1 times or we can say 1 to n times and at nth, uh, after shifting nth time the array becomes the same. So we need, so we will get different results only when we shift 1 time to n times. So either 1 times or 2 times or 3 times or n times. Any shifting after n times will again give us the same results over and over again because this is cyclic shifting. Now, so this means that we can run a brute force and we can see how many elements can match if we shift to the right one times. How many elements can match if we shift to the right two times. And likewise, how many elements can match if we shift to the right and minus one times. And likewise, we can say how many elements will match if I shift everything and we need to do shifting only with one array. And so suppose if I'm doing the shifting in this array, then I'm matching it uh, to this array. So I need to do shifting in only one array. So I'll calculate if I do right shift one times, how many elements will match? If I do right shift two times, how many elements will match? If I do right shift n minus one times, how will the elements will match? Likewise, if I do uh, left shift one times, how many elements will match? If I do left shift two times, how many elements will match? Likewise. So, and obviously right shifting and left shifting will be the same at one point. So right now let's uh, take them as different. So I can either do right shift or I can do left shift. So I'll have an array 
uh, I'll have I'll call it int right, and it will have the size n. So I can either shift uh, uh, zero to n times. So right of one meaning. So right of i means means how many elements will match if I shift right i times. Likewise, left of i will tell. Left of i means how many elements will match if I shift it left i times. So let's look at this example. So let's take another example. Suppose I have one, two, three, four, five, right? And suppose I want to make this into two, uh, four, five, one, three. Now. If I shift everything to the left one time, so I'm shifting this to the left one time, so this one won't match because it won't go to uh, this position. But if I'm shifting this to the left one time, then it will match, right? So we increase count. Now, if I shift this to the left one time, and will they match? No. If I shift one to the left, if I shift four to the left one time, will they match? No. If I shift five to the left one time, will they match? No. So shifting left everything where one time will only give me one match so likewise what we'll do is we'll calculate at i times uh, cycle, uh, shifting right how many matches will i get i times shifting left how many matches will i get then i'll find the maximum then maximum of left and right will give me the answer and after a while, you'll know that the left array and the right array will essentially have the same values and you'll see how. So let's just see how it works. So I'll take the example given in the question itself. So I'll be taking this example itself. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So what are the indices here? The indices are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is my array given and I'll just put them here. Okay, so this is my array and uh, these are the indices and this is the uh, array I want to match it with. So I come across this two and I want to match this two with this two. So basically the thing is I want this two to be here. So what I do is I'll, I'll calculate for each element. So suppose let's uh, go at the start. So this is my one. Now I want this one to match this one, right? So I want this one to match with this one. So what I'll do is in uh, this one and this one. So this one in, has index 4, this one has index 0. So the difference between them and 4 is 4 minus 0. So that means that I can either do right shift by 4 times to match. I can either do right shift by 4 times. As you can see, I can do 1, 2, 3, 4 and it will come its place. So that means right of 4 plus plus. Because if I shift everything by 4, uh, if I shift everything by uh, to the right by 4 times, we know that uh, this one will come to its correct position, so plus plus, meaning that one more element will come to its correct position. So I can either do right shift by four times, or I can do left shift by n minus four times, meaning by five minus four is equal to one times. So meaning that left of one plus plus. So if I shift this one towards the left one time, again it will come at the same position. So likewise, I'll calculate for uh, this element. So I come across 2 and I want this to be, so I want this 2 to come here. Now what is the difference between the indices? So 4 is done. So I come, uh, 1 is done, sorry. So let me just uh, clear this. So 1 is done. Now I come across 2. Now I want this 2 to come here. So what is the difference between indices? The different difference between indices are 1 minus 0. So I can either do left shift to make this come here, I can do left shift by one time, so left of 1 plus plus, or I can do right shift and minus one time, right. So this uh, this is the formula I'll be using. So basically what we're doing is, we're finding a k which is the index minus index in b. So in index minus index in b. So for example, 1, uh, you can see that these are the indices, I'll just, uh, yeah, so these are the indices, these are my number. So I come across 1, index of 1 is 0, index of 4 is 1, so 0 minus 4. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm right shifting. So if k is less than zero, then absolute of k, right shift, absolute of k, and left shift, n minus absolute of k. So let's look if this is correct or not. So I come across this one. Its index is zero. Its index in B is four. Zero minus four is minus four. So k is less than zero. So I can do right shift by absolute of k times. Absolute of k meaning right shift four times. So that is correct. If I do right shift four times, it will come at its correct position. Or I can do left shift n minus absolute of k. K is uh, four. N minus four meaning uh, absolute of k meaning five minus uh, four, so one. So again, it will come to the right position. So this is what I'm doing. The formula is k is equal to index minus index in B. So if k is less than zero, this else. Uh, now look at the else part. So I come across this two. So what is the difference? Difference of is uh, this is index. So the difference is difference is index in A, meaning the index one minus index is in B, zero one minus zero. So k is greater than zero. So we are simply doing left shift by k, or we're doing right shift by n minus k. So this is the formula. I come across each element, and to make it at its correct place, to make it match. Uh, I'll just find out the difference between this its index and its index in B. If it is less than zero, then we're doing right shifting by absolute of k and left shifting by n minus absolute of k. So wherever I'm doing right shifting, I'll say right of uh, uh, k plus plus absolute of k plus plus and uh, left of how many times I'm left shifting n minus absolute of k plus plus and likewise. Uh, here we're doing left shifting by k, so left of k plus plus, and we're doing right shifting by n minus k, so right of n minus k plus plus. So after this, uh, left and right will have the values of, uh, like I said, left and right will have the values of how many elements will match if I shift them right or if I shift them left. And the maximum of left and right will give me the answer, maximum of left and right. But one thing is there. You can see that either I shift to the left or I shift to the right. It will be the same. So you don't actually need to take the left and right both array. Choosing one will work. Work. Because left and right will give the same answer. So in my code, I've taken both left and right. And you can take my code and you can even print it out to see how it is working. So I'll give a link to my code in the description and I'll show my code also. So this is how it's working. And if I just show you guys my code. So this is my code. So you can see that I've taken AI. And uh, how am I calculating index in B? Uh, so, so I have index. Index is simply the index of itself. Index in B I've showed in another array. That is a, that I've called location. So location of uh, the element is i. So here I'm calculating the difference. i minus location of a of i. If k is greater than 0, then directly I'm calculating. Otherwise, I'm doing absolute and I'm calculating like this. So whatever I've said, I'm doing here in, in code. And then I'm finally taking the maximum of left and the maximum of right. Although you can take only one. And here you can print out the left array and the right array to see how it is working. So this is my code. I'll give a link to it in the description. So that is the approach. If you have any doubts, uh, be sure to ask. So that's all. Thank you.